I think Nuke's top five is running out of titles and the fact that they can't count. And I'll say it every time. Because this one is 10 scary videos of ghosts. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, Nuke. Let's see what these 10 scary videos of ghosts are. You're going to have to change your name to Nuke's Top 10. I'm sorry. You'll have to. Can't keep calling himself Nuke's Top 5 anymore because it's just not feasible. Factory worker Kama Kaley recently moved from his home country of Greenland to live and work in Denmark. Right. But little did he know that the apartment he moved into had a horribly dark past. Seven years ago, a 49-year-old man was brutally attacked and lost his life right outside the apartment's front door. Right. After Kama moves in, he begins to notice his things moving and falling to the floor for no reason. He hears the creepy sound of someone knocking on his door, and doors inside the apartment slam shut for no reason. One afternoon, Kama hears strange sounds coming from somewhere inside his apartment. He pulls out his phone and starts to record as he tries to find the source of the odd noises. Right, but okay. then, this happens. Come on then. Why is he blowing out the toilet? Oh, <laughs> oh he's blowing out the TikTok logo. Kama gets a good jump scare as a door slams shut right in front of him. And, uh, it seems to literally scare a fart right out of him. <laughs> but now, this is where the fun ends and things start to get really Ooh. dark. Because another day, not long after sunset, the eerie activity in the apartment starts up once again. Now, Kama is a bit scared, but once again, he takes out his phone to try to record proof of the creepy activity in his apartment. What happens just, next just, just, is truly creepy. Just to ad address the original part, is it not like a bit of a draft shutting the door or something? You know what I mean? It could be just a bit of a draft. on the string door opens by itself and Kama's helmet slides across the floor. Later that night, Kama... 
just by itself and Kama's helmet. I want to see how this helmet goes across the floor. I, th I think that was being dragged by a piece of wire. Slides across the floor. Because it stops, moves, then goes like that. Hmm. Later that night, Kama decides to live stream from his apartment. He says that he's having trouble sleeping because he keeps hearing things moving and falling to the floor over in the next room. Okay. What happens next, live on camera, is downright chilling. Okay. Yes, it was loud. Kama hears the sounds of his belongings falling to the floor in the other room. But when he goes to investigate, the drawers of a small cupboard slide open on their own. <laughs> Kama's had enough and runs down the stairs and out of the building. But when he looks up at his apartment window, he is shocked to see someone or oh, something yeah. standing inside his apartment, seemingly looking right down at him. So with everything that has happened, could Kama's apartment actually be haunted? Could be a burglar. Hey, that was a bit creepy though, the way that silhouette was in the window, weren't it? Do you know what you should do? Take all drawers out and take all doors off. So then they can't do nothing. <laughs> Hi, Riker Mom. Him. So with everything that has happened, could Kama's apartment actually be haunted by the restless ghost of the man whose life was taken there? Let me know what you think. Taken off the side of the floor Just a quick side building. note, but Greenlandic is only spoken by around 57,000 people in the entire world. Right. So a huge thank you to Nukes Top 5 viewer Wilhelm for translating Nukes Top 5 Legend. viewer videos. What do you reckon of that one, guys? Do you think that was authentic? I just think he was pulling the wool over eyes with like a bit of like fishing wire. What do you reckon? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, viewer videos, let's go. Nuke Stop 5 viewer Natalie Hintz is taking a few iPhone Live photos of her sister-in-law and niece at a scenic lookout in Utah when suddenly she notices something very odd. What? Oh, that's when fake. Natalie watches the live photos back, she notices a bicycle riding by at an alarming speed in oh, the background, that's dumb. all on its own. There's no dumb. rider, and there's no one chasing the runaway bike. That's probably Natalie it. says she is creeped out by the strange photos. I'm not having that. That's been that's been super. Viewer Stephen Figueroa says that he's been. Ex that's been superimposed. You can see it. Not having that one. I'm not having it. No. That was that was graphics. <laughs> Experiencing paranormal events since he was three years old, he says that he has even seen full-bodied shadow apparitions in his home. So back in 2013, when Stephen was 18 years old. He says that he was finally able to capture proof of what he's been experiencing. Okay. But it's a bit potato because all he had to record back then was his iPod Touch. Jeez, look at the camera quality. Okay. 
Notice that the trash can first tips slightly forward, then moves back, then crashes over onto the floor. A few bags and suitcases fall over as well for no apparent reason. Cut to 2017, and Steven has now upgraded his video with a new phone. When he hears a strange rattling noise coming from the hallway outside his bedroom, he once again decides to try to record some proof of his paranormal experiences. Okay. And this is when things start to get really weird. All right. A picture frame on the wall violently moves and raises up, almost as if it's trying to fly right off the wall. Since this video, Stephen says that his grandmother cleansed and staged their home, and for the last six years, he's happy to report he's never had another paranormal exercise experience. the house. That's madness. This next creepy video was sent in by New. That's madness. That that looks like someone's yanking at it. Happy to report he's never had another paranormal experience. This next creepy video. Would you be able to have a guy in a green screen suit doing that, you reckon? And like it's been set up. That's the only way I could think of that one to debunk it. But if it wasn't, it looked pretty good. Right, okay. This next creepy video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Paulus Hellinder. In his email, Paulus says that his brother was home all alone one night at their farm in Finland. Okay. Out the window, he notices that the light in the barn has mysteriously turned on. Paulus says that this strange event has happened many times, but no one in his family can figure out why. Right. Now the farm is in the middle of nowhere, and the man is all alone, but nevertheless, he gathers his courage and goes out to turn off the light. He films the barn as he searches for any explanation as to why the light turned on. What happens next is downright creepy. Blunt his red out. Did you see it? A pale, undefined face can be seen staring in through oh, the yeah. window of the barn, seemingly watching the man before disappearing into that. the night. Thankfully, whatever it was seems to have scurried off and the man returned home unharmed. Mm. But what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal or perhaps something even more terrifying? Skin A real water. person stalking around the farm in the middle of nowhere in the dead of night. Yeah, well, he's risking getting his ass shot, isn't he? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If it is a real person stood there, you've come out with a pitchfork or that. There's a pitchfork or something there. Well, what's that? It's like a, it's like a, a pole with a bit of a claw on the end. I'd be chasing the fucker with that. Farm in the middle of nowhere. Poke his eyes in out. The dead of night. Hanako-san. A group of friends at a high school in Japan hear crying coming from the restroom during their lunch break. Okay. Now in Japan, there is a famous legend of a girl named Hanako-san. This young girl's spirit is said to haunt restrooms in schools across Japan. The group moves in, all of them a bit hesitant. Well, do you know what? You killed two birds with one stone with that, you know what I mean? If, if this Haku-san is, is um, stalking restrooms, at least when you shit yourself, you're in the right place. Yes? 
to investigate the source of the creepy sound. Needless to say, it did not go well. Okay. The girls are just about to <laughs> that shit me up that that got me that I jumped then and I got a little bit of the willies down my back look at it oh my god look it looks a bit like Momo <laughs> the girls are just about to leave until they suddenly hear a loud bang and go back for a look the horrifying, distorted face of a young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom Jesus stalls. Christ. The group runs in fear, and the video cuts. Now, unfortunately, there's no source to be found for this video. It appeared up. on the internet as mysteriously as the Japanese legend. So did the girls capture evidence of Hanako-san? Or is it all... Her eyes are weird. So did the girls capture evidence of Hanako-san? Look! Her eyes are like on sideways. <sighs> um, creepy that. Is it all just an elaborate hoax? Oh, that was creepy. You decide. The six year seal. A girl says that she lives in a spooky house that was built in the early 1800s. Sorry, that was creepy as shit, that, whether it was fake or not. That gave me the willies, and it gave me a shiver down my back. It made me have goosebumps, and I've got tingly legs now. <laughs> Let's go. A girl says that she lives in a spooky house that was built in the early 1800s. She says that as long as she can remember, strange, unexplained things have happened around the home, including odd noises and creepy, unexplained footsteps in the middle of the night. Tragically, the girl's mother passed away inside the house under mysterious circumstances. Soon after, the girl's granddad became convinced that there was something evil inside the home. For unknown reasons, her granddad sealed his bedroom shut, hid the key, and left the house, never to return. The old man's room remained locked off for the next six years. Then suddenly, one day the key to the room was found just lying in the open on the living room table, with no explanation as to how it got there. One night, the girl and her friends decide to explore the allegedly haunted house, using a spirit box in hopes of getting some kind of answer from the other side. And that's when things take a very unexpected turn. If there's anybody with us, can you tell us your name? We don't need to tell you her name. No water. Oh, y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. What the f***? You scared me. You scared me so bad. <laughs> The girl's sister is unaware of what's going on and simply steps out of the shower to go to her room. The group thinks it's a ghost and freaks the f out. But things are about to take a much more sinister turn Come as on. the three friends finally decide to unlock and explore her granddad's six year sealed bedroom. Oh, it's just a bedroom? Why is it not covered in more dust? Are you going in? No, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. That's a I don't feel good. The mess. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm you guys just like, got so lightheaded. That? I just got. Corbin, don't be going through the smoke. I just got so lightheaded. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. It's probably all the fumes. Everything's been fumigated in there. You know, all the. Uh, it's not been open for six years. It might have had food somewhere and everything's, everything's like got like. Ugh, fumes. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded it's as soon messy as I walked mother. in here. Were they? Yeah. You are not welcome here. Oh, my head's itching. I if think there's, there's any lights in here. Leave. You are not welcome. 
Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's what I'm that's, that thing's creepy. Why? Santa, why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Did your grandpa ever think about that? Like it could be an object? You could just burn the whole room. What are you doing in the closet, dude? Oh, my back's burning. <laughs> Is it really? Is my back's burning? burning? I don't know. Oh my god. No, you're Stop. Kidding. Stop. No, get out. 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 Get Stop. Yeah. No, you did. Stop. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> oh my Sorry. god. You're kidding, right? You're no. kidding. No. The girls are shocked as their friend seems to get scratched by something inside the room. It took us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. You could get someone to scratch you before you walked in there just to get the video. To look like you've been scratched. I'm not entirely convinced with that. Let's go. Something inside the room. It took us like five minutes to unlock that door. Like it yeah. wouldn't open. We went in and immediately I felt lightheaded. Didn't you say and, you yeah, didn't feel good? I, I did not feel good. Yeah. Yes. Immediately I felt lightheaded and I was like, okay. But okay, weird. But I was just trying to like play it off, you know, like it's it's not real. He said that his back was burning and as a joke I was like, Oh, imagine if you had scratch marks and then he had them. And in the video, you obviously can see there was no one near him. After this terrifying ordeal, the group believes something is very wrong inside that house. They say that they play. My back's burning could mean muscular or a skin irritation. It wouldn't say the first thing out your mouth would be. Wouldn't it be funny if someone had scratched you? And then suddenly, oh, won't behold, he's scratched. I'm not having that one. I'm not having it. And on just staying out of that bedroom. But what do you think is going on here? Could there be a dark entity linked nah. to that bedroom? Scratches or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Yeah. You decide. <laughs> I'm that Lost one. soul. Okay. In Michoacan, Mexico, a photographer named Paco is waiting in his studio for his friend Eduardo to arrive to work on a project. Paco suddenly hears his friend Eduardo outside his open window, talking loudly to someone on the street. Paco checks his security camera to see what's going on, and uh, just watch. Eduardo swears that a man was asking him for directions, but the security footage shows no one there, just an odd white mist. So did Eduardo have a conversation with a ghost or a brief mental breakdown? Because he seems convinced. So let me know what you think. Alice Attic. I mean, I'm not, you could say you've seen somebody, couldn't you? Really, let's face it. That one in that, that girl's restroom is, is the best one so far. It's one of the best ones. If I don't nuke top five, ten. Amateur paranormal investigator Phil Koch has been posting strange captures from his supernatural explorations for 15 years on YouTube. Right. Okay. What the hell was, the hell was that? Oh, no, I wasn't. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Gotta get the camera. Shh. Okay, something just crashed right next to us. In fact, I featured Phil's videos on this channel many years ago. All right. What the hell? Something just moved. Something just moved behind me. Now, oh, on that. this particular night, Phil and his teenage son are performing a paranormal investigation in the attic of an allegedly haunted house in West Allis, Wisconsin. And things get weird. On the floor. Mm -hmm. So. 56? 70? I heard that. Without them knowing, a voice seems to whisper, go outside. 70? But what happens next shocks them to their core. Goes them outside. 12.30. 
And uh, I think that it was about an hour since we heard those footsteps coming through here, but I don't know what that was from. What's our average temperature? It's about 37, 38. That's why I'm cold. And I'm getting like a point two all the way through the room. Like it's going to 45. There's 50. Oh, I got a 50. I got a reading here. Oh, oh Okay. Ow, ow, ow. I got a reading here. Oh, oh Okay. I was seeing what they were doing with that hands and the legs. You know what I mean? See if some someone was pulling that chair. Son have had enough. They just run right out of the attic. But when Phil uploads the video, many viewers claim that they can actually see something sitting in the chair yeah. that slides out. Like a little girl. But what do you think? Wandering patient. I mean, I couldn't see any evidence of like any. I, mean, I know it was a grainy video, but um, I couldn't see any evidence of like shenanigans or like pulling on a string or. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, okay. This next video takes place in an allegedly haunted hospital. Now the story goes that the spirit of a little girl who passed away still wanders the hospital halls, unable to move on. Down in the hospital cafeteria, the staff working the late night shift experience something that makes their blood run cold. cold. Se abrieron las de allá. Se abrieron las dos. Ya se salió, a lo mejor. Ay, no. Ay, no, no. Nunca me asusto. No, ya, pero ahora, ya mire. Ya. Nunca me asusto. Y ahora. Ay, no, la ves. No, no, ya, 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 ya. ¿Qué necesitas, pequeña? ¿Eh? No, 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 ¿Ocupas no. algo? Uh. Ay, no. Pequeña. Ya prendió la luz. Hey, that looked good. Now the hospital night staff all know the creepy story of the that little ghost good. that supposedly wanders the hospital. So they watch in terror as the cafeteria gates and automatic door open and close on their own, almost as if someone is walking there. But as the doors close, a small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors on the other side. Well, it's you not know what's funny about that though. Why couldn't you see a little figure walking through them little barriers and then through the door itself? But then when it was behind the glass, you could see the figure. I mean, it looked good. Don't get me wrong, it looked good. And I, I, I'm enjoying these videos, but I also like to try and debunk them. A small dark figure can be seen walking by the doors on the other side. But whatever it is, it somehow just doesn't trigger the automatic doors. So could the stories be true? And is the hospital indeed haunted by the spirit oh, no. of a little girl? I leave that up to you oh, no, to no, decide. No. The Madison Seminary. I don't know, but it looked really good. It looked like something out of a film, the way that happened. Yay. Two teams of paranormal investigators decide to explore the allegedly haunted Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. Madison Seminary was built in 1847. Do you know where this is, Riker Mom? Madison Seminary, is it near you? It said it's from Ohio. Let me know in the comments. I'm doing this live for people who don't know what I'm talking about. And over the years, the building has been used as a school, a hospital, a mental asylum, and even as housing for the grieving families of men who died in the Civil War. Right. With a long, dark history like that, it's no surprise that many ghosts are said to haunt its abandoned halls. So one spirit in particular is said to be that of a very unfriendly doctor who tries to frighten and physically attack anyone who visits Madison Seminary. Now, the team of paranormal investigators has just started to explore the building when investigator Mandy notices something very odd. You're super red. What? Am I gonna die? What? Am I gonna die? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's super red. Look at 
at that. Oh, the sun just came through. Hey. Oh, it's a pain. pain. Oh, what the? F it almost looks like a, like a thumb. That's thing. weird. It's a weird spot too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even feel anything. Like it doesn't feel like anything right now. No, that's weird. Hmm. I guess we'll see if it does start to feel like something. Turn yeah. around again. So it's burning or something? I mean, that's it's so that's just, red. I don't know, it doesn't feel like anything. It's weird. Ghost hunter Steve is shocked to discover yeah. that a large red mark has suddenly appeared on the back of his neck. But he says he doesn't really feel a thing. So the group continues upstairs where the angry spirit of the doctor is said to sometimes appear. As they record, they capture something that is downright creepy. Yeah, it's like a male voice down there. It was like two or three words. Doctor! Doctor! It, said doctor. it just said doctor. Right after we heard a male voice, it said doctor. Yeah. So the thing is, he says he doesn't like to be called a doctor because he says he was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor, usually. <laughs> so we've got an offended ghost. We've got a Gen Z ghost. Don't call me a doctor. I'm a fucking surgeon. <laughs> Shut up, you melt. He was a surgeon. So people call him a doctor and it makes him angry. So we call him a doctor, usually. <laughs> is there a doctor down there? Did you hear that? Yeah. I definitely heard a voice coming from down there. The group hears a male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. But did you see it? Right at Go, I saw it in the doorway. Something in the, I wasn't sure if I saw something or not. But he said he likes to be called a surgeon. And then she poked the bear. Is there a doctor down there? Yeah, I saw something in the doorway when the camera scrolled. But I didn't want to say out in case it was nothing. The male voice coming from somewhere in the attic. But did you see it? Right after the investigators hear a voice in their obelisk ghost box says the word doctor, a small dark figure uh, can be yeah. seen running into the attic hallway. It's a little doctor the ghost that hunters it. don't even notice the odd figure and only see it once they review their footage later. So did they capture the spirit of the old hospital doctor on camera? Well, he did, he's very short, isn't he? What is he, about two foot tall? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Club Paranormal. You're good in that. Caught on camera. Late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester, England gets a notification on her whoa, main camera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Manchester. It's 14 minutes away from, 14 miles away from where I am. I'm right there, Manchester. Late one night, Claire Mills from Manchester, England gets a notification on her ring camera that someone is moving around in her front yard. For obvious reasons, Claire is a bit worried and she immediately checks the camera footage. What she sees sends chills down her spine. Strange white Weird. mist can be seen quickly darting down the driveway before disappearing completely. Claire has no idea what to make of this bizarre figure and wonders if she might have caught a ghost on camera. We need scary videos, so if you see something that scary that you think would be it. perfect for the top five, send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Secret. I mean, I might go to that estate and knock on the door. Hey, Claire. Show that footage. Oh, God. She only lives down the road for me. For the top five, it. send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Secret shopper. Security guard Garamirez Rivera is working the night shift on New Year's Eve at a Bodega Herrera store in Torreon, Mexico. Okay. The security guard is a little bit bored and records a video complaining about having to work all alone on New Year's Eve. Suddenly, something very strange happens. Año nuevo, señores. Feliz año nuevo aquí encerrado. Aquí dando el rondín. Jales, jale. Sin llorar. Ay, güey. Hijo de su pinche madre. 
Ni pedo, vámonos. Uy. A la chingada. Es que chingas trae ese pinche. <risa> no manches. No, no se ve con sensor, valiendo madre. Vámonos mejor. Uy. Uy, güey. Vámonos mejor. After this creepy occurrence, the security guard is a little freaked out, but just brushes it off. But then, another night at 3.20 in the morning, Rivera thinks he keeps seeing someone walking behind him from the corner of his eye, even though he's the only person in the store. A little spooked, he decides to record himself as he walks through the store, hoping to catch a glimpse of any mysterious intruder that might be following him. What happens next is truly bizarre. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas madrugadas. No, bueno, más bien, ando, estoy nervioso, asustado. Siempre traigo mi celular a la mano. Son las 3.20 de la mañana, me tocó aquí guardia nocturna. Voy a correr, ¿ah? si se fijan está todo solo. Pero, ahorita acabo de ver a alguien allá. En la entrada de clientes Se miró Allá por la entrada de clientes Hasta allá hasta atrás Y No hay nadie Ya voy a asomarme y no No hay nadie Así lo voy a dejar a ver si Pues de pura Okay. Chingadera se vuelve a ver, ¿no? Y lo vi clarito, clarito. Ya lo vi otra vez. A ver si, el, a ver si se alcanza a ver. No, me da miedo ir. A eso, eso que se mira ahí. Ese, eso negro que se ve ahí. Miren, ya se movió. ¡Oh! Está caminando, de hecho hasta que no, no manches, no manches. Y se sigue moviendo, se sigue moviendo. Es una persona, claro hasta que, mire. Get that brush there, go and run at it. That little brush there, it redded with a red brush. I'd be going. Miren. No, 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 no. Vámonos. Someone or something can be seen lurking behind the creeped out security guard. Now, we cut to a week later and Rivera is back on another night shift when he spots a little girl aimlessly wandering around outside the supermarket. But before he can approach her, she simply disappears into the night. Given the late hour and the fact that the little girl was all alone, many viewers have speculated that this little girl could have been responsible for the strange occurrences in the store. Maybe. Some even suggest that she might actually be a ghost. So now a few months go by and things seem to be back to normal at the store. But then Rivera spots a shopping cart doing something a little weird. Okay. ¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Oigan, estoy en mi hora de comida. Pero no van a creer amigos. Ahorita escuché que se movió el carrito. No lo vi. Escuché que ese carrito se movió, amigos. Se escuchó ese clarito como si lo hubieran, si lo hubiera alguien agarrado. Bueno, no sé, a lo mejor son mis nervios. <coughs> Miren, hasta no sé si se fijan, hasta estoy, estoy temblando. <risa> Pero sí, clarito, clarito escuché que lo movieron, amigos. Clarito, clarito. Si sí, yo Pues no alcancé a grabarlo Obviamente Pero mire, no manches Mira, chéquense Ustedes me van a decir si soy yo Son mis nervios, no sé Pero Mire No manches No manches no manches amigos Se movió 
El carro se movió. Estoy seguro. Se movió, amigos. Se movió. As the security guard attempts to capture evidence of the shopping cart moving, a soft voice can be heard saying, Jugamos? Which basically translates in English to, Want to play? Que lo movieron, no. amigos. Jugamos? Clarito, clarito. So could it be that the Bodega Herrera store in Torreon is haunted by the spirit of a little girl? Or just what is going on here? I leave it up to you to decide. See, the one in the shop, when he zooms in. Herrera store in Torreon is haunted. Looks taller than a girl. By the spirit of a little. Looks like a guy wearing a tracksuit. Like it's his mate or another security guard. I still charge it with that brush. Little girl, or just what is going Hi, on Jody. here? I leave it up to you to decide. Hmm. Some interesting ones there. The one that freaked me out the most, though, was definitely that one with the uh, <laughs> the girl in the toilet. That was like that. That gave me tingles. Well, I mean, there's some pretty good ones. I like the one, the last one, then with the little, the, the little dark apparition, if you like, wearing a tracksuit and the girl messing about outside, whichever. Still give like a good. And the one in, uh, uh, what past the, the the doors when the doors had closed and stuff. But I think a few of them were. Black. Well, is it a good mixed bag there today from Nuke's top five, top ten? What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And I'm out of here.